Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to connect Exchange Online PowerShell by using self-signed certificate. By using this method, you can easily connect your Exchange Online PowerShell by using your self-generated self-signed certificate. So by using this method, you can eliminate uh, your uh, need to store the admin password uh, in your unattended uh, PowerShell script and this will help you to uh, you know, easily connect to Exchange Online PowerShell uh, by just using your cert file and, uh, and uh, you can install the certificate in your machine so that uh, only from your machine you can access the Exchange Online PowerShell and this will eliminate your need to use your admin password in, in here. You can just connect with your own uh, password that had been generated in your self signed certificate. Uh, so uh, this will be much more secure uh, than using your, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, your admin password. When you use the admin password, you need to connect with your uh, text, uh, text based uh, authentication or a multi-factor authenticator apps. Uh, so this will uh, eliminate this, uh, this uh, uh, method. You can just connect with your certificate file in here. So to do that, there are some uh, steps to follow. And uh, uh, to connect with a Exchange Online using sales and certificate is uh, not, uh, you know, uh, as uh, it is very uh, easy, easy process, or uh, it is not like that. But it's an interesting one. Uh, if you are, you know, interested to uh, explore many ways to connect with Exchange Online PowerShell, you can certainly try that. Uh, so to do that, first we need to register an application. So you need to log in to your admin portal. So this is your admin portal. So from admin portal, you will go to your identity, which is also known as entra.microsoft.com, uh, so your entra identity portal. So once you click on entra portal, you go to applications, click on app registrations so an application you click on new registration so we give it a name let's say i'm using exchange powershell name in here now click on register so your app registration is complete so copy this uh, thing it will need later your display name i'm using exchange powershell in here and your application id so app id in here so just note it down and then you click on manifest so click on in here so this one registration is done now step two you are in the step two in step two you click on manifest and change uh, three settings three value so the values are in here you can uh, find it uh, in the description uh, so the value uh, we will replace it from here so resource app id so copy this value go to the code in here so look for resource app ID so in here so select this one and replace it with the value from here so resource app ID done now resource access ID copy this one Go to this one and then resource id access id in here so again replace this one and the type is scope so from scope you need to change it to role so once you've done this click on save so as per the document yes we have changed the three things so now we need to give the permission so to do that you have to click on api permission in here and then click on grant admin consent so click on grant admin consent so admin consent granted done so our step 
2 is complete. So now go to the step 3 which when where we actually create the self signed certificate. So to do that I have a link provided in here in the PowerShell gallery. So go to that link, open a new tab, go to that link and you will find uh, the script in here already as generated script. Uh, so there is a, no option to download in here. So just uh, copy this one, copy this script, okay, create a notepad file, paste it in here, click on file, click on save as, and then copy the full full address in here with ps1 and you save it to your c drives tem folder so remember the path you save on tem folder in your c drive so click on save you can close this one and uh, also check yes the code is uh, the uh, script is saved here so it's done so now what you need we need to create the certificate so to do that we need to copy this this one so up to this we could copy in here paste it to our notepad uh, give it a name it has a powershell on it okay i will uh, show you why we need that so now to create the self signed certificate we need to open PowerShell. Run as administrator. Okay, just run. Now go to the location where we saved the file. We saved it in the temp folder, right? So go to temp folder now and dot slash. Yes, this is our uh, script. To create the sales and certificate enter a space in here now copy this one before copy uh, just change the value uh, today give you today's date so from where actually the certificate will start and end it uh, a key pad that is so copy this one paste it in here now click on enter so once you enter it, it will ask for a private key, for a password to protect your private key. So in my case, I'm using a simple password. Uh, you can use your own password. I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six. So I click on enter. So my certificate, PFX and cert file is generated. Let's check it out. Yes, it's already generated. So my sales and certificate has been generated. And now done. So my step three is complete. Now in step four, we need to uh, upload this certificate to the registered app. So to do that, we again uh, go to our application in here, click on certificate and secrets in here, click on certificate, upload certificate. So browse the certificate path. I'm already in the temp folder. So just select the certificate in here. Now click on add. So certificate is uploaded to the application. So step four is complete. Now in the step five, you need to add the required role to that application. So most uh, specifically you need to give the exchange administrator role to that application so to do that you need to search for microsoft enter roles and administrators so click on that now search for exchange exchange administrator yeah click on that and click add assignment in add, 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 add assignment, you search for the application name you've given. Uh, my application name is Exchange PowerShell. So copy this one and search in here. 
here it is exchange powershell so click on there click on add so it's done so my step uh, five is complete so this is the final step now so in the final step we will connect to exchange online so you will connect exchange online by two way one way is you can install this certificate to your machine and you can uh, uh, connect it in here and also uh, second one is you don't need to install this one just in it you have this certificate in your machine and you can uh, connect from here so i am going to connect with without installing this uh, certificate to my machine so i copy this code copy this uh, uh, co uh, command in here uh, paste it to my uh, notepad so that i can you know uh, do some modifications in here so in here certification path save your certificate name so in my case i'm using name powershell right so copy this one so in here give the name powershell now your app id application id in here is needed so we already copy it in here so just copy this one and replace this with your application id so application id is given done now you need to give your own microsoft address so to find that on microsoft address you can go to your domain there you can see your on microsoft address so just uh, copy this one you can uh, copy this uh, before so just paste it in here so done it's done so let's check uh, it's connected or not so <laughs> let's copy this uh, exchange online uh, command in here now go to my powershell uh, paste it in here click on enter okay now here's the part you need to give the username the admin address in here okay so let me uh, give my admin address okay so i give my admin address in here so in the password you don't need to give your admin password in here you are using the password that you create uh, the self signed certificate so in my case i'm using uh, one two three four five six in here right so click on okay uh, let's check it's connected or not so yeah it is connected let's uh, take some time to connect with exchange online okay yeah it's connected okay so now you are connected with exchange online PowerShell. so as you can see when you get the command to uh, get mailbox you can see uh, it's already uh, showing the information so yeah uh, this way you can connect with exchange online uh, PowerShell by using your self sign certificate. So the next time you just uh, copy this code in here, copy this uh, you know uh, uh, command in in, in your uh, PC, and you just uh, uh, click on enter and give your uh, secret key. In my case, uh, it's very simple. In your case, you just use uh, your own uh, secret key, and then you can connect it very easily. So this way you can connect with exchange online powershell by using self -send certificate so uh, uh, this method is uh, you know not uh, very easy but it's not also very uh, difficult uh, but it will surely uh, give you an as advanced uh, view to connect with uh, exchange online and and various method to connect so uh, this is also very secure to connect exchange online uh, powershell by using uh, this uh, self -send certificate so uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching.